to PenangNetTV.com. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, do you know who is the first Chief Minister of Penang? If you do not know, I'm going to bring you a place where we can know who is the first Chief Minister of Penang. Our first Chief Minister of Penang is the late beloved Tan Sri Dato Wong Pao Ni. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you his seventh son, Mr. Peter Wong of the gallery of our belated Tan Sri Dato Wong Pao Ni. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Peter Wong. Maybe I can share with you something about the setup of this place. Yes, what, what is your objective, Mr. Peter Wong, of setting up this beautiful gallery? Okay. In fact, with the encouragement of my friends, we decided to come together and set up something that is of historical value. So uh, what we did was uh, we wanted to get everything sorted out on the dates uh, because 50, the 31st August is a special occasion because we are celebrating 50th anniversary celebration for of Madeka. It is also my dad's fifth anniversary of his death. Fifth anniversary. And um, what is your main objective of setting up this gallery? First of all, uh, because he has a place in history. Mm, and, yes, uh, of course. I say through the support of my friends and also the inquiries of uh, certain customers that came by our place they gave me the, the the feedback that i should create an awareness so we thought that the 31st would be a special occasion to showcase his gallery in conjunction of visit malaysian and 2007 Malaysian. yes that's right of course mr peter wong's main objectives is mainly to create an awareness of his belated father Tan Sri Dato Wong Pao Ni and Mr. Peter Wong is there something that you can tell about your father your late father uh, Tan Sri Dato Wong Pao Ni that you can remind a fond memory should I say that you would like to share with our young Malaysians I think all these all these pictures have been kept in in a closet mm -hmm. waiting to be uh, displayed out in fact I I feel that he had he had foresight maybe because he had a good collection of these pictures mm -hmm, yes on behalf of my sister oh I was able to uh, run through almost every bit of his album uh -huh. and to pick up what is what I feel will be relevant to mark the occasion so you see, picture paints a thousand words. Luckily, I was able to summarize in a way to showcase his early contributions from pre Madeka up to the day he left office. Ah, uh, I see. What we want to do is to showcase his historical contributions. There's no way we can deny the fact that he has played a role in history. Oh yes, definitely. Mm. So definitely. pictures, pictures tells a lot. Yes. From the early days of Madeka up to the time when, uh, when he saw through the Corbo Commission mm, mm. To, towards uh, the formation of Malaysia. Mm, uh, yes, and that's his right. contribution to society, mm. uh, his active participation in scouting, uh -huh. and then his post political era when he was appointed uh, ambassador to Italy. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, and after that, his retirement. Okay. Well, it was actually between 1957 up till 1969 that um, this late uh, Tan Sri Dato Wong Pao Ni has contributed all his services towards Penang, Malaysia. And uh, perhaps, do you have any um, great events that uh, you can share, mm -hmm. that you can remember of, of what your father did? When he used to share his, his thoughts with us, Mm -hmm, yes. He remembered the time when he shouted Madeka on the podium. Oh yes, uh, of course that is the most yes. the event. You know, that was the event, and uh, the time when he he was appointed one of the, the Malayan delegates to the Corbo Commission. Ah. And his uh, memorable participation in the jamboree, the scouting jamboree. No, scouting jamboree. Yes. So over the years, he has always brought back memories of such events all right and, uh, uh, these are pictures of uh, his con his involvement in the mca these were given to me by the people in the mca office in Penang, and uh, i've really placed them up especially to mark his contributions here this was an invitation by the mca office in moi it was quite a big event when they invited him over there so these are some of the memorable pictures He 
his greatest passion was in scouting and uh, his most memorable event was the launching of the first scouting jamboree in Penang and uh, it involves the participation of more than 10 countries and it was a very successful event. It was at this time that he also uh, received his greatest award, uh, award in uh, the scouting movement called the Semangat Padi. His appointment as ambassador was uh, another memorable one. Yes, of course Mr. Peter Wong and the viewers of PenangNetTV.com If you would come to this gallery, I'm sure all of you will find this place very educating and um, why not learn who is of Penang first Chief Minister, yeah? And um, Mr. Peter Wong, is there anything you would like to uh, let our PenangNetTV.com viewers to know about your gallery? Yes, uh, we are in the process of upgrading the gallery. Uh, I would like you to know that uh, this gallery is personally funded by me. Funded by you? Yes. This is actually my contributions. When did you set this beautiful gallery? This gallery was uh, was set up on the 31st of uh, August. 31st of August? To mark the occasion. Wow, just to mark the occasion, yeah, Mr. So, Peter Wong? So the timing was just right. Everything <laughs> fell in place Okay. at the 11th hour. <laughs> 11th hour? Able to set up yeah. not just the gallery, but... Okay the restaurant next door as well wow okay on the 11th hour that he you know he quickly made this place up and that's through the encouragement of uh, friends friends and uh, people who have come by my my place uh -huh. and they gave me the encouragement and the direction to set this place up so on behalf of your beloved father is there any person you would like to thank in particular for the setting up of this gallery i think basically i have a team of very close uh, friends who helped me do up this place they are still they are still my team <laughs> Yeah, still with me. And, uh, okay. I think from now we can go even further. Mm, okay. So on recollections of the late beloved Tan Sri Dato Wong Pauni, I would urge all of you, PenangNetTV.com viewers, to come here and the location of this place is actually is on Jalan Bawasa, on the way to Giant Supermarket and behind of Dorset Hotel which was formerly known as Sheraton Hotel so please make yourself come to this place and look at this beautiful gallery that we have of late Dato Tan Sri uh, Wong Pauni and of course nevertheless we would like to also bring you to another uh, video clip yes of Hakka Connection which is also place of Mr. Peter Wong's. Please do not forget that when you come and visit the gallery of the late uh, Tan Sri Dato Wong Pauni, you are able to taste the Hakka Connection restaurant, the food which is highlighting the dishes, the special dishes of Hakka people. Yeah. So Mr. Peter Wong will be highlighting all the food of the dishes of Hakka Connection restaurant this is just beside the gallery of the late uh, Tan Sri Dato Wong Pauni and uh, which was being set up at the same time with this beautiful gallery right Mr. Peter Wong? Yes, that's right. yes. next to the gallery is the Hakka restaurant uh, we, we call this place Hakka Connection because there's more to the gallery there is a Hakka restaurant simply because we felt that uh, my dad was a Hakka and he was proud of his heritage as a Hakka person. Okay. So we thought that maybe by introducing something that is related to Hakka that okay. we, can, we can actually try to maintain the gallery here as well. Okay. So there must be a connection between the gallery and, and what is next door. So we introduced certain Hakka uh, delights. Oh, Hakka delights, yes. We don't call it delights, but maybe we call it delights. Right? Delights, yeah. We, for, for starters, we narrow down to a few uh, delicacies. Delicacies. And since the opening on the 3rd of September, the restaurant has been very consistent in, in the amount of visitors coming to savior the the Hakka Delights. <laughs> wow, okay, so in a very few short moment we shall go to the next door, Hakka Connection Restaurant.
Have a nice day.